Monsieur Degas teaches art and science at Durfee Intermediate School, Detroit, 1942. At the great retrospective of Degas' work in Paris and then uh, in New York City, nothing was ever said about his years teaching uh, ninth grade in Detroit. I always thought that was disgusting. Perhaps the greatest uh, contribution he made to mankind and womankind was in such a quiet and personal way. Monsieur Degas teaches art and science at Durfee Intermediate School, Detroit, 1942. He made a line on the blackboard. One bold stroke from right to left, diagonally downward, and stood back to ask, looking as always at no one in particular, what have I done? From the back of the room, Freddie shouted, you've broken a piece of chalk. Monsieur Degas did not smile. What have I done, he repeated. The most intellectual students looked down to study their desks, except for Gertrude Bimler, who raised her hand before she spoke. Monsieur Degas, you have created the hypotenuse of an isosceles triangle. Degas mused. Everyone knew that Gertrude could not be incorrect. It is possible, Louis Warshawski added precisely, that you have begun to represent the roof of a barn. I remember that it was exactly 20 minutes past 11, and I thought at worst this would go on another 40 minutes. It was early April. The snow had all but melted on the playgrounds. The elms and maples bordering the cracked walk shivered in the new winds. And I believed that before I knew it, I'd be swaggering to the candy store for a Milky Way. Monsieur Degas pursed his lips, and the room stilled until the long hand of the clock moved to 21, as though in complicity with Gertrude, who added confidently, you've begun to separate the dark from the dark. I looked back for help, but now the trees bucked and quaked and I knew this could go on forever. <laughs>